Today, I want to compare these two wallets from Louis Vuitton. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yue. I do videos on designer handbags, shoes, as well as clothes. So if you're interested, then please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every week. Today, I thought about doing this comparison video to compare these two wallets from Louis Vuitton. This is the Victorian wallet. This one is very, very popular. Um, I'm sure a lot of people already have this one and this one is a newer release it's called the micro wallet I believe this one came out earlier this year so this is a new wallet I did an unboxing of this I will link that here um story time so after I filmed that unboxing video I noticed that there were some scratches on that wallet I just got so I did an exchange so I went to the store I returned that one they didn't have this color in store so they shipped one so this is my second one already and same as that one this one is also made in Spain for some reason this micro wallet feels so soft softer than all my other Louis Vuitton wallets I don't know why maybe it's because the interior is also soft and the Victorian has this type of leather inside. It's definitely more hard wearing. And this one is made in Italy. So this one, the layout is similar but different. So this one it has a paper pocket. So in this pocket, I put some coins and my insurance cards and some credit cards I don't use often. So it's quite convenient. And here we have six credit card slots. So those are the credit cards I use very often. That's why I put them here. And also there are two slots here. So I put my driver's license here. And of course it has the bill compartment because this is a wallet. I do appreciate a bill compartment because I think it's still important to carry some cash with you no matter what. This is a Victorian and this is the micro you can tell the size difference right this one is very very tiny and cute if you look at here and the side thickness this one is a lot a lot smaller I showed the layout of this wallet in the unboxing video, but I will do that again. So inside it's smooth leather, it's different. Here you have a pocket. This one does not have a zipper pocket, but I like to put my driver's license here when I carry this wallet. And uh, here we have one, two, three, four, four slots for credit cards. So the layout here is the same as the Zoe wallet. The only difference between this and the Zoe is this part. So this wallet, the micro wallet, doesn't have a zipper compartment and that's it. And also because this is a wallet, it also has a bill compartment. To me, it's quite important. So I don't have to fold my receipts, fold my cash. So I think this is quite convenient. For some people, it may not be that important to have a bill compartment. Some people just like a simple card case, but if you do appreciate a wallet and you need a small wallet for your smaller handbags, I highly, highly recommend this one. I mentioned that so many times, this one just feels so soft, I, I'm not sure why. One thing I would say about this one is maybe you need to be careful um, when you touch the interior here because the leather here is really really smooth. For the Victorian wallet, sometimes it's kind of hard to get the uh, credit card out. It can be difficult to put your credit card in and out. For certain slots, I still have difficulty doing that. 
but with this one this one I feel like the slots here are a little bit looser so it's easier to put your card in and out definitely easier than this wallet for this wallet you really have to use it for a while in order for the card slots to get stretched out so that's one con of this wallet but overall I really really like my Victorian wallet it's very it's functional it has enough credit card slots for me because for the credit cards I don't use I just put them here for the credit cards I reach for all the time I put them in these six spots and I personally think a bill compartment is very important I'm going to enter four credit cards in this wallet so you can see what it will look like okay now I have four credit cards here I'm gonna close the wallet so it still looks slim it's not puffy and uh, it doesn't really change the shape of the wallet so that's good and I'm gonna put some cash in there as well and I'm gonna put my driver's license in this slot I have my driver's license I'm gonna close the wallet now it doesn't feel like this wallet is a little bit bulky now this is what it looks like when I used all the slots in this wallet so if you look at that it, it's a little bit bulky now so you can see that the shape changed a little bit but still the size here is still small I will still use this for my mini handbags this is only one thing I don't like but usually when I carry this wallet I just carry maybe two credit cards and a driver's license maybe a debit card and some cash so I think it will look a little bit slimmer another occasion I think for myself I will use wallet is when I travel usually when I travel I do not like to use a big wallet like this I like to I like to pack small so I only need a little bit cash my driver's license for sure and uh, two credit cards I think that's good enough for traveling when I travel I always bring cash so just in case you never know what will happen that's why I think the bill compartment is very important this wallet is $500 and I think and this one is $575 I think this wallet is a little bit pricey but I do need a micro wallet like this that doesn't take a lot of space in my mini handbag like my mini reissue this wallet definitely can save you a lot of space in your handbag when I go to work I usually just use this this holds a ton of stuff so definitely I will use this every day but occasionally I do appreciate a small wallet like this so I would say this will be a great addition to your wallet collection you probably don't need this one every day but if you just go out for dinner or go traveling or go on a trip for a couple days this can come in very handy especially when I travel sometimes I tend to overpack so with a smaller wallet like this it reminds me of only taking things that are important I don't need everything when I travel so that's another reason I like this wallet the interior of this wallet is definitely more hard wearing uh, you, won't, you won't need to worry about scratching the uh, canvas here however with this leather you definitely need to be a little bit careful I already made a tiny scratch I haven't used this bag a lot so I can't really tell you the wear and tear but the only thing I can think of is the leather here so it's leather in the build compartment and leather here but if you think this will bother you you may not want to buy the leather like this I hope this quick comparison is helpful if you have any question about those two wallets here leave a comment below I always reply to the comments 
Overall, I recommend both wallets, it depends on your need, depends on your budget. This is definitely a must-have from Louis Vuitton, and this micro wallet, I think it will be a good addition. I can see myself reaching for this once in a while, so I will say uh, it was a good buy. So I don't regret buying this, even though it's a little bit pricey considering the size. If you look at the size again, it's really really tiny. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every week. I will have more videos like this to compare my maybe handbags or maybe small leather goods. So if you are interested, definitely subscribe to my channel and let's be a family here on YouTube. I hope wherever you are, you will enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you next time. Take care.